Mathematical knots are not your everyday knots. Everyday knots don't form a fully completed circle, like when you tie your shoe how there's these little dangly cap ends there. Mathematical knots, on the other hand, are made of fully closed circles, so there's no way to untie a mathy knot. The simplest knot is undignified by its name. It's the unknot, and it's just a circle. But you could bunch it up and get it all tangled so it looks like it's knotted. But the fact that you could undo all that tangling without cutting the rope means that it's still an unknot. And a part of knot theory is discovering new knots and determining if established knots are actually just disguised forms of other established knots. The most simplest knot besides the unknot is the trifoil knot. In knot theory, crossings are when one bit goes over or under another bit. And knots are classified by the lowest number of possible crossings on any diagram of the knot. The trifoil knot is the only prime knot with three crossings. And prime knots are knots that are not just the sum of other prime knots. So this mathematical square knot is not a prime knot because it's so this mathematical square knot is not a prime knot because it's really just two trefoil knots added together. This figure eight knot is the only prime with four crossings. There are two unique five crossing knots, the syncofoil knot and the three twist knot. There are three prime knots with six crossings and seven with seven crossings. And the numbers get crazy like there's 165 known knots with 10 crossings. And it's super difficult math finding out if knots are unique or not. Like after being on various people's knot charts for almost a hundred years, these two knots that were on various people's knot charts were discovered to actually be the same knot by Kenneth Perko in 1973.